Kanya Kriti right now. Come take a stroll with me through the town of Kanya here in Greece. Can't wait to show you guys this full walking tour of the pier and throughout the town. Before we get started, please subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post up a new video, as I will be here for six months in Greece, so definitely a lot of content coming. So a couple of interesting um, facts about just uh, Greece and some of the things that are particular to Greece is that you see this yellow strip and you'll see them everywhere throughout Greece. Sometimes they'll be yellow in Athens. Um, they're like a, like a reddish kind of like a rust color. And the reason why that these are here is for um, the visually impaired. So um, the color is obviously not so they can, they can see that. That is for, um, you know, us that are not visually impaired to see it but if you actually step on them and if you look closely when they're closer to the actual um you know walkway itself you will see that the texture on it it has like these bumps and then when you are walking straight you will see that there is lines in them and those are actual grooves inside of um, I, I'm assuming what is tile because the rest of the floor is as well so that way they can't see it but they can feel it and when you're walking on it you can actually feel it under um, you know your feet even with shoes on so you can feel the ridges and then even when you get close to one of the walkways or you know if you're at a stoplight or whatever you can feel that the tiles do change and um, it's a different, it's like those like bumpy tiles underneath your feet. So that is the reason why throughout Greece, whether you're here in Chania Kriti or if you're in Athens, anywhere you will find these, um, you know, colored tiles with all of those different grooves and stuff on them. And that is to help out the visually impaired. So, um, you know, I, I love that. I think it's, uh, you know, just something that really is helpful. And it just feels like it's very inclusive to anyone that, you know, would have a particular disability or anything like that. And the grooves itself, it comes you know it's obviously to caution them that okay you know now you're at a stoplight now you know here is um, a cross section or you know you're coming into a curve a curb excuse me not a curve um, a curb so it's really cool how they have it set up that it's obviously not just um, you know a one kind of tile grooved situation that they do have different other textured tile so that way they would know for an upcoming stoplight you know traffic intersection and stuff like that which i definitely think is pretty cool Now, the one thing that I really did um, just appreciate about Chania and really Kriti altogether, but Chania definitely a little bit more, is um, how clean the city was. So if you've ever been to Athens, even though Athens, I feel like gets a bad rap with some of the areas, but it is a very, very old city and a lot of old cities um you know are kind of are kind of like that but there is so much culture and everything else but you know unfortunately i've heard so many tourists say like you know when i was back in the states and stuff that oh you know we went to athens we were saddened to see that you know with the graffiti and you know it just looks very dirty and it's kind of sad to hear and obviously i'm always going to correct them and everything else um and again it's an older city like 
it's been there for thousands of years, like occupied, not, you know, something like in the U.S. where it's just a couple of hundred years old where it's really been established and stuff like that. So, um, you know, you have to take that into consideration. But we're not talking about Athens right now. But I did really like how Hanya was just um, very clean. And as you saw, they were doing construction. Um, you know, they're continuously building and adding to Hanya. And it's just really, um, for me, a very overall beautiful, clean, I would say a little bit more upscale city, which I really liked, especially if you've been to Iraklio in Kriti. Even though Iraklio is a little bit more crazier, I guess, is um, a word. It's just super big and super busy. So I just really loved, um, you know, just the vibe of Kanya and everything else. And a few little things to note if you guys are interested in any of like the backstory or, you know, what Kanya is kind of um, known for. So Kanya is on the west side of Kriti. Kriti does, a lot of people when they come and visit Kriti, they will, you know, like, oh, are you staying on the east side or are you staying on the west side? Because let me tell you, both sides really do have very, very different vibes and just energy. And I felt it because my entire stay, I have been on the east side, Iraklio, Malia, Gersonisos, Ayos Nikolaos. And then I came on to the west side for several days where Hanya is, Eritmo, and um, Kisamos. And it all just feels very, very different. It's, it's crazy how it's like you kind of feel like you, I don't want to say transported. I mean, you kind of did. It's almost like a three-hour drive from Iraklio to Hanya. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's very, very different. Uh, and if you come and visit and when you come and visit Kriti, and if you end up doing like an east side and a west side, you will see the difference as well. Both sides are very, very beautiful. Um, so Hanya is on the west side of the island. And it's really known for its harbor. So the harbor is a 14th century Venetian harbor. Um, and the harbor itself, though the entrance, is from the 16th century. And the lighthouse is Venetian, but it also has influences of the Egyptian and Ottoman um, you know, era as well, which I found really, really cool. You know, I'm Greek. But I still, every time I come to Greece and I travel throughout my country, I just, I learn so many different things about um, our history and, you know, just everything about it where, you know, the Venetians had a very, very huge role in Kriti. Just how the Greeks have had a huge role in some parts of Italy, like Sicily. If you don't know, Sicily, and I'm getting a little off track, but I'm sorry, I get a little nerdy with history. If you didn't know, Sicily does have a town called Naxos, which if you are familiar with Greek islands, Naxos is a Greek island in the Giclades cluster of islands which is near like Sandorini Mykonos if you um you know want a little bit more of a familiar name so you can piece where it might be together so um I was really intrigued to find that out especially because I've been to Venice and I absolutely loved Venice and um I don't know, I feel like it just kind of ties everything together for me, like, oh, I love Venice, and they had, um, you know, they were here in Kriti, and, you know, they had influences here as well, so I just found that really, really cool, um, you know, coming down to Kanya. I definitely do recommend doing some of the tours. Now, don't fall into the common tourist traps. And they can always, if you are not coming in like super peak high season, they can always do a better price for you. Okay, guys, huge tip on that. Just because you go somewhere and, you know, you ask how much a specific tour is, if it's not at high peak season, like July and 
August, they can absolutely work for you. So I would definitely ask them if they could do any better pricing so you guys can really get it's not even just about like a tour, but it's really getting all of the information about Kriti and our history because Greek culture and Greek history is so rooted, it's so deep, it's so old. So it's definitely cool. Again, if you may be a history nerd like myself, so it's definitely cool, um, you know, finding all that out and finding it out from somebody who really knows, you know, about the area. So definitely just a little tip. And the same thing with renting cars and everything else. If it's not in high peak season, July and August again, you absolutely can, um, you know, ask them for a better price, ask them if they could do something better for you. And for the most part, they will. Another great thing about Hanya is all of the shopping. Um, <laughs> maybe this will not pertain too much to all of the male viewers, but even though they had some really, really great stores for men as well, all name brand, and they just have a lot of luxury stores, but they also have stores with just great quality products for um, you know, I want to say reasonable prices and also make sure if you guys do not know, but Kriti is very, very big for its local honey, its local olive oil, even though with olive oil, it comes from everywhere in Greece. You know, on my island, we make our own olive oil as well. So, um, you know, that's everywhere. But Greek olive oil, extra virgin is definitely... Um, you know, just something that you should definitely bring home with you. I know that sounds a little um, maybe foreign to some, but every year when we would go to Greece and then we'd go back to the United States, we would always come back with a luggage full of just olive oil and honey and oregano because even Greek oregano, you cannot find it anywhere. And if you really get inspired when you come here to Kriti and you come to Greece and you want to start cooking Greek dishes, you really need to get the Greek oregano. Not just any oregano will do, trust me it makes a very very big difference and all the mountains throughout greece have the oregano so these really are just straight from the mountains of kriti or if you're visiting any other island it is straight from the mountains so i definitely recommend getting some local products as well to bring home with you you won't be disappointed especially the honey i have already purchased about like five kilos <laughs> And I'm laughing because it is very true. Every time I go to any type of place, I was in Hanya and I got some honey. I ended up in Ayos Nikolaos. I got some honey. I was in Malia, in Old Town Malia, and I got some honey. I went to Sisi Kriti, which was also such a beautiful seaside town. Video is coming for that. So again, make sure you're subscribed so you can get, you know, just all of the beautiful content from Kriti. But I was in Sisi and I also got some honey. Um, it's just so different. It's so delicious and it's so, so healthy for you. It's amazing over, you know, some Greek yogurt in the morning. I put it on toast, 
however you would like to eat it. Some in the villages just eat a spoonful of honey every day um, because honey does have a lot of, you know, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, just so many different health benefits that a lot of people in villages just, and you know, take a spoonful of it a day. So definitely check that out. And here is where we're going to be like the entrance that you go into the harbor area. I kind of did like a little 360, um, you know, around where they were doing that construction stuff. They were, they're building um, like a nice little square in that area. Again, just to make Hanya even more beautiful than, you know, just what it is, which again, I loved it. I know you'll love it too when you come here. So now we are going to be going on our way into the harbor. And again, as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, the weather today was, and this is very, very early in the morning, but the weather was a little crazy. You will see by the harbor, you know, how the ocean is. As soon as I saw the ocean, I was like, oh, Poseidon is angry today. <laughs> And I do want to apologize from now. You will see that a lot of lights look like they're flickering, but that is only with the camera. A lot of these shops use fluorescent lights and fluorescent lights with cameras, the camera projects it as if it's like flickering like crazy, but it's really not. In real life, the light would not look like that. Um, but in the camera itself, unfortunately, the light flickers like that. I apologize if it's disturbing to anybody. Um, but, you know, that's not something, unfortunately, that I can really control because it's just some of the shops use specific fluorescent lights that end up kind of reacting with the camera itself. So I just wanted to also mention that just in case it, you know, someone is a little curious, like, wow, why do they have strobe lights on some of these stores? Um, it's not strobe lights. They are regular lights. And outside of seeing through a camera, if you are just walking down these streets here in Hanya, you will not see the lights, you know, flickering or looking like they're strobe lights like that at all. It's just from the fluorescent light into the, um, into the camera and I just wanted to mention here when we start walking down towards the harbor and you may have already realized it now that they still have the tiles for the visually impaired here they aren't a bright color they match a little bit more with the cobblestone but again it's not about the color because the visually impaired aren't going to be able to see that it's about the actual grooved tile and it's on the left it's gray here so um, again you know just wanted to kind of mention that bring it to your attention that it really is everywhere throughout greece and um, you know something that when i had finally realized why they do that it was just heartwarming for me so um, I really hope you enjoy the rest of the video and walkthrough tour of Hanya here in Kriti. Again, make sure you stay all the way until the end. I am going to be back to let you know.